Welcome back to Phoenix University. My name is Tom Duong, System Engineer with Phoenix. Over the last year, we've made some updates to the quad surface mount, and I'm here to tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Before we dive in, let's go back to the basics of what we know about the quad surface mount. It features three modes, 14 flash patterns, three integrated stop turn tail functions, and a wire to change colors. With our newly added locking feature, you have the ability to lock out flash patterns and colors for any unintentional or intentional changes that could occur. Here I'm going to demonstrate on how to program mode one with multicolor and a particular flash pattern, and I'm going to demonstrate how to lock it out. Once I've determined which flash pattern I like, I'm gonna go ahead and tie up all three modes, which is red, yellow, and white. And I'm gonna grab the color change wire and twist them in a group. Then I'm gonna apply 12 volt positive for about 10 seconds. Uh, when 10 seconds is up, the amber light will appear to indicate that it's been locked out. Once the locking feature has been enabled, I'm going to demonstrate to you on how uh, I cannot change flash patterns or colors. So I'm going to grab the pattern changer wire, tap it to ground, and you'll see that it's still double fast and it hasn't changed. I'm going to grab the color changing wire, tap that to positive, and you'll see that it remains red and blue. All right, to undo the locking feature, you'll reverse the steps, which will include all three modes and color changer wire tied together. Apply 12 volt positive to it, wait about 10 seconds, and white will appear. And here I'm gonna demonstrate to you as you can see, after unlocking the quad surface mount, I'm able to change flash patterns and colors. And this would conclude our demonstration for the quad surface mount. We'll see you next time.